When schools closed in Rwanda, USAID Soma Omenye began producing radio lessons for early grade literacy, and our MEL team began a process of remote monitoring to track access and feedback on the lessons. Remote monitoring wasn't simple, but despite difficulties, it was doable. We have some advice so that remote monitoring is doable for you. Quality monitoring starts with a strong monitoring framework, a clear process, and digital monitoring tools. We used a questionnaire designed in Survey CTO to conduct phone interviews with parents. Data was collected by 30 field staff representing the 30 districts in Rwanda. You need a large database to get a reliable monitoring sample. You can work with local officials to create this database, which can also help increase their ownership. So Mumenye worked with local officials to collect more than 100,000 phone numbers, which allowed us to call around 2,500 randomly selected parents each week. Conducting phone surveys from home means dealing with disruptions on both sides of the call. You may get interrupted by noise from cars, rain, or even your children. You may deal with dropped calls and poor connection. And your respondents may just be too busy to talk. So many staff dealt with all those disruptions and more. We discovered that persistence is key to the remote monitoring. Monitoring can create opportunities. Every interaction can be a chance to raise awareness. So many used survey calls to inform the parent of the radio schedule and how to access to other digital literacy materials. After data collection, you'll need to clean and evaluate data. So many regularly contact 20% of sampled parents to conduct confirmation checks so that we knew that our monitoring was accurate and reliable. From all of us at Soma Amenye, we hope these tips help you conduct remote monitoring. It may be difficult, but it is always doable.